my latest um, piece of... Hey guys, it's Alan, and I'm just demonstrating something new for me, and that is my first do-it-yourself guitar pedal. Um, it is basically a treble booster. It's based on the Electro Harmonix Screaming Bird, but with a few special modifications. So let's kick it on. Actually, not yet. Let's hear my clean sound. This is my Washburn Idol. Let's hear my clean sound. It's a Washburn Idol going into a Zoom pedal with a Fender Bassman model. So it sounds like this. And now let's kick on the nasty. As you can hear, it gets very thin and bright, and we get a little grid out of that fender. Um, apologies for the noise, by the way. My computer gives off a crazy amount of electrostatic discharge. Not much I can do about it. I'm going to dial that back some. All right, so the first modification I made was to add this gruff switch, and that just basically brings some bass back in. dial my guitar's volume back some. If I pull my guitar volume all the way up, I saturate that circuit. The next switch is a loud switch. It doesn't have quite as much effect as I would like. Um, and also the switch is a little bit flaky, so I don't know. I'll, I'll try to demonstrate it. We might have a problem. Hey, it didn't break. All right. You can see it opens it up a little bit, gives it a little more oof, you know, to it. It's pretty subtle though. Um, the last is not very subtle. This introduces some clipping diodes, so I get a bit of sizzle. So let's try that out. <laughs>
So that's cool, but uh, by itself it's pretty awesome. What I really made it for though was to drive into another overdrive pedal um, to give it a little more oomph. So let me kick on a Tube Screamer type pedal. standard kind of overdrive tube screamer pedal. Let's kick on the nasty. And some gruff. So that's how it does in a Tube Screamer pedal. Definitely a lot more bite and snarl. Thins it out quite a bit, but you know, for a, a solo or lead tone, that's okay. Next up, let's try it into a rat pedal. So this is a rat style pedal. Let's just try the default setting here. So it kind of blows out the rat pedal there. Right? Turn the gain down. So there you go. That is the nasty gram pushing a rat pedal. And uh, that's about it for today. Just wanted to show that off for those who were curious. I do plan to make some more pedals. Uh, I think I'm going to work on a fuzz face next. 
um, maybe try to fix up some of the switches on this one and get it get it better. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll talk at you again.